Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of My Hobby Hobby. So what I wanted to do is take you over some of the things that I like and dislike about my uh, my layout. Um, starting with the things I like, which um, actually, when you consider that I've put this together, isn't actually very many. Now, the first thing I love, I absolutely love the Station Master's house. I love the positioning of it, I love the angle, I love what I've done with the the garden and the trees and the... Uh, stone slabs and a little bit of crunchy gravel on the front and the potted plant and the classic car that no doubt the uh, the station master will be uh, fixing up during his holidays um, I am yet to do the uh, interior and um, that's the whole reason why I got a 3d printer in the first place to do that um, but yeah I love that from any angle, I love it. Okay, and the fencing as well. The fencing is kind of part of that section. So, that I love. The next thing is my new and improved signal box. Uh, it used to be freaking green and it looked terrible. Uh, but now, I think using lolly sticks um, and staining them, and even staining the actual building has made that look even better. That's probably the best weathering you're going to get out of this. And even here, where it's... You can still see... There you go. The green is starting to bleed through. Now, that's the sort of thing I'd love to do on regular weathering. To make it look like the paint's peeling off. I've left. I've decided to leave the roof as is. Because I think that just works with it. Uh, as for the door... Uh, that's still green, but I covered that in wood stain as well. Uh, the steps, I'm leaving as is, um, just because they look nice and dull. You know, they look like they were painted 10 years ago and they've been sun affected. That's kind of a nice look. Next thing I like is this little pull under, or the uh, the loading dock, whatever you want to call it. Um I don't know why. I'd have preferred it with a fence to stop people from falling off it. You know, safety first on a railway. Um, but as you're walking by, it kept I kept snagging it and then it ended up pulling it all off. So that's why it hasn't got one. But even as this, it could work as a station as well as a loading dock. So that's a good thing. And plus it's wheelchair accessible. So, you know. So, you know, you could use this for either unloading goods on, like, maybe the weekday, and then on weekends, or during the summer holidays, you use it for passengers. You know, for little coach trips and stuff. Um, next thing, the modern prefab. Now, this is nowhere near done, because what I want to do is put some slabs around it um, to make it look like a property all of its own and maybe add a fence around the decking and maybe some decking furniture on there and some people and then some fencing around the track but I like the where I've placed it I like the angle um, of which it pretty much isn't an angle um, I think it's set just enough away from the track to be honest I didn't want it all the way over at the edge and this is probably the thing that I catch least and, you know, I did weather it up and I just splashed a load of black weathering powder over it, which is pretty good. Um, you know, it looks like it's seen a load of smoke billowing from um, a steam engine's funnel. So that's one thing. Uh, next thing is the statue of Frank Hornby or the dedication to him that... I made using a piece of track, a bit of MDF, and a repainted Sunset Express. Um, which looks really, really nice. And even, if I just do this, the grey, the, the way it's done, it makes it look like it's actually made out of concrete, to me. You know, if you look at how it's kind of wrinkled, that looks like something that concrete does. And I'll be honest, that's about all I like on this. Um, 
What I dislike, strap yourselves in, because we're about to go onto a torrent here. Yeah? I don't like how big the car park is. I went too big with it, and now it looks stupidly massive and disproportionate. I don't like how I painted this, intending it to be a mud trail, but I can always cover that over with gravel. I can't really do anything with that. Um, I don't like the fact that I just left the good shed green and haven't done anything with it. I'm trying to think of a design for it to make it look like something that would fit in. I did think about doing the same as the uh, water tower, uh, not the water tower, the signal box with both the water tower and the good shed because I painted all three of them green, but they looked too green. They looked too good. And then of course, the big frigging elephant in the room is the lake. And as you can see, I have tried to get rid of it. I've used my belt sander on it. Um, I've tried to use some multi-solvent on it. I've tried using a chisel. I've tried using all sorts of different things. So if anyone can tell me how I can bang in the dirt is gone on that, please let me know because I, I don't want to see it anymore. Um, and again, another thing I don't like is that water tower. Yeah, the top bit's fine in my mind, but the uh, the walls just look terrible. It's on there because I, I feel that if you put something on the layout and you just let it sit there, you might either learn to like it or you might figure out an idea for it. And that's the reason why both the water tower and the goods shed are both glued in. Because I'm trying to either get to like them or get an idea for their design. And neither of them are really happening. This big station. I don't like how I've done it too big. I kind of feel that should be not even a station. It should just be a plateau. A platform, a podium, whatever you want to call it. Something that's, you know, level with the track and shouldn't have a building on. And again, the mud trail, I really don't like it. Um, this station is kind of all right, I suppose. Maybe once I've gotten a bit more added to it, maybe a fence there and some more people and other bits and pieces, then I can accept it. Uh, I'm fine with the level crossing, um, not that line though, because I've just made it one straight line and I need to make it look like, oh, you're on approach to a level crossing, be prepared to stop. So, And obviously I love that TARDIS. Come on, it's a TARDIS, it's not a police box, let's be honest. Um, the coaling yard, the, um, the coaling stage, let's just call it that, I like... I like where I put the diesel tank up, and I like where the coaling stage is. You know, I think that looks pretty good. Once it's decorated, and once, you know, having the little spillages of coal on the outside, I think that really adds to it. Um, I think maybe this could do with some black weathering powder on the sides, because obviously coal dust. Um, yeah. And I said it several times before, I'll say it again. That. That was supposed to have a little station on there. Just a little, tiddly little station. And, well, I used probably the biggest frigging thing <laughs> that I had. That I, I thought that would look good. And you can see I've been trying to chisel it away. So now I'm forced to turn it into a construction site. Um, and try and make this look like rocky terrain that they're having to dig up and then navigate. Um, this little building here, how I said it was the tool shed, I don't like it. I don't like the fact that it's too bright. It's too brightly coloured. The reason why anything here is brightly coloured is because I can't weather. I've tried to, I have a mental image in my mind of how I want it to look. And I want it to look like it's been affected by smoke, the paint's peeling off, um, any wood's rotted away. I, I, I can't do that. 
Maybe it's because I've not had enough practice. I'm not sure. Um, I do, however, like how I've done the coal office, the coal hut. I do like that. Now, that's nicely weathered. Yeah. And the final nail in the coffin. Can you guess what it is? It's the fact that I still haven't finished the bloody thing in the year that I've owned it. I've not done anything with it. I mean, you can kind of tell that I've obviously added where the children's playground is going to be. And I've added some more decoration to that. And obviously, I redid the signal box. But other than that, nothing much has really been done. And plus, mum's bought me a new truck. Which looks kind of nice. And it's part two close to that car, mum. But yeah. So... The things to like about this are blown out of the park by the things that I hate about it. I mean, the shed's fine, I think. And, you know, how I've done the shunting yards. Or whatever I'm going to call it. Because it's not really a shunting yard, to be honest. But yeah, there's a lot to hate about it. And I do have a lot of hate for it. You know, I mean, there's still some patches where you can see where it wasn't quite scattered properly, where the scatter material, you know, didn't quite stick. That was because I was still learning how to use 50-50 water and glue. And I still haven't done the uh, thing. And this is what's going to be the model railway club, because it's nice and big. I'm going to block out the windows, so then you can't see in, because, I mean, in my mind, you shouldn't be able to see in, because otherwise people might end up nicking the freaking thing but yeah those are the things that i like and dislike about this well um while i'm here i'll actually talk about the things that i like and dislike about the uh the shunting layout so i like this a lot more than i did because uh, i've added a new layer of texture in fact the exact same grass that i put down there is here and it's helped re cover up things nicely. I've added a bunch of coal there. And a new coaling stage that's then going to be filled up with coal. And I'm going to add some weathering powder. Um, and I have painted all around it black. Which has really, really helped disguise it a bit more. I like the station. I like the goods, wag goods van at the end. I'm going to have to add some beams or something. Uh, but the thing I hate most about this is this thing. I hate how tall i've made it so it needs cutting down it needs a back putting on it with a tunnel section in it um and it needs covering in paper mache uh, to make it look like concrete uh i don't particularly like that signal box you know and i especially hate what i've done there because that that looks like a trip hazard if you were to scale that up that looks like a trip hazard so yeah, those are the things that I like and dislike about both my layouts. So hopefully I can get this thing finished soon. It's trying to figure out what to put where and to make it make sense. That's what I'm trying to go for here. But yeah, that's the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, like, comment, subscribe. Always much appreciated. And don't forget, we're still taking requests for... Uh, the reading your comments videos so by all means get your requests in and you can of course in incorporate the shunting layout and we can be doing some shunting while we're doing it and that's it for this video hope you've enjoyed it and until next time stay safe and thanks for watching